If you want to extrapolate Kaplan-Meier data from a trial, you need to fit parametric survival models. The good news is it's easy to do in R, and in this video, I'll show you how. To demonstrate this, I've created two AI-generated hypothetical time-to-event datasets, one for PFS and one for OS. As you can see, each file has two columns, one for the time and months and one for events, whereby one represents an event occurring while zero represents censoring. In our PFS file, events are defined as disease progression, while in our OS file, the event is death. Datasets like these form the foundation for partition survival models, or PSMs, a type of cost-effectiveness model commonly used in oncology. Partition survival models frequently need to make assumptions about the survival beyond the observed Kaplan-Meier data from the trial, which in our case ends after 24 months. That's why we fit survival models to our data using common distribution types like exponential, gamma, or log logistic. These survival models give us the parameters we need to generate extrapolation curves that mimic the shape of our time to event data while extending beyond our trial observation period. To get these parameter estimates, let's jump over to RStudio. Make sure at this point that you have both R and RStudio installed before we get started. We start off by creating a new R script by clicking on File, New File, R Script. The first thing we want to do here is to install the R packages required for R analysis. Here we're using the survival and flexurf package, which we can load as a library once they're installed. With our libraries loaded, we want to read our CSV file to R so that it has access to our time to event data. We do this by using read.csv with our file name in quotation marks. My file is labeled hypothetical underscore pfs underscore data dot csv. So make sure to adjust this to your file name. Next, we create a survival object using the sur function. Make sure that the column headers in your CSV file are time and event exactly, as otherwise you may run into issues later. Alternatively, you can simply replace these parts with your actual column names. Now we are ready to fit our parametric models using this bit of code. This includes models for seven common distributions, including exponential, gamma, generalized gamma, GOMPADS, log logistic, log normal, and Weibull. Since we've now fitted the survival models to our data, we're ready to extract the parameter estimates we're interested in. Simply run these lines of code and you should see that the relevant survival parameters appear in your console pane. From here, you could copy these parameter values into Excel to use them in a partition survival model alongside your Kaplan-Meier data. Before you do that though, you should do a quick sense check to make sure that the survival models you've created actually fit with your data. To do that, let's plot our own data together with a few models to test their fit. Running this bit of code, we can see that all our models follow our KM data nicely, so we can be assured that fitting the survival models has worked properly. But how do we know which of these survival models we should use to inform our partition survival model? To help us pick a model, we can calculate the AIC and BIC. These are two information criteria that measure how well a model fits while penalizing for the number of parameters used in the model. As a rule of thumb, models with a lower AIC or BIC are generally preferred. Note, however, that these models aren't perfect and should only be used to guide model selection, as the most plausible clinical scenario may not be the one which has the best AIC or BIC. Running this code on your time to event data will create a new CSV file for you, which lists AIC and BIC for all seven distributions we fitted today. Looking at the table in our newly created CSV file, we can see that the exponential distribution has the best AIC and BIC. So we can consider that for our model selection in our partition survival model. One more thing we're interested in is to generate Kaplan-Meier survival that we can use in our partition survival model. Often the outputs given to health economists from the statistical teams only include time to event data like this, but what we actually need is a column for time and survival. We could do this in Excel, but honestly, it's much quicker to do this in R. Using these lines of code here, we can create another CSV file with the exact output we need. As you can see, rather than having time and event data, we now have time and survival data, 
which makes it easy to plot our KM data in our PSM. We now got everything we need for PFS. So all that's left really is to repeat the same process for our OS data. I'll let you do that by yourself, but if you are struggling, you can always download the code and result files from the video description. Once you've run your analysis on the OS data, you should be able to create a plot like this, in which you have OS and PFS survival for 24 months. This is a great foundation to build a partition survival model, which you can either do in R or Excel. I'll show you how to build the PSM in another video, but in the meantime, go watch one of my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.